So Yahweh will be the true name of pronouncing the Most High God's true name. Uh, who many know as Yahweh, uh, many know as Yahweh, Lord God, uh, Yahuwah, Jehovah. His true name is Yahweh. Yahweh Shai is a way of pronouncing who today many call Christ, Jesus, Yeshua. Um, all these different plethora of names. We know that their true names are pronounced Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. So that's the Paleo ancient Hebrew tongue. We say Shalom, peace to the 12 tribes and initially Yashurallah or Israel. Today it's consistent of the so-called Negro, Latino, Native American Indian, so-called Hispanics. We do say double honors to the elders and the apostles, teachers who've been doing the labor and sincerity for years. Um, starting off with the elders of Great Millstone and then to the rest of the brothers, you know, the rest of the elders who put the work in for Yahbash and Yahshua as well. We say peace. So I, uh, I got Matthew 24 and 38. It says, for in the days, I'm gonna go with 37, but as the days of Noah were, talking about Noah, so shall the also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as the days that were before the flood, they were eating, drinking, marrying, giving in marriage until the day that Noah, or Noah, entered into the ark, and knew not until the flood came and took them all away, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be, you see? So we living in that same generation that Noah was uh, was in, you see? In that same, you know, there's a thing called regeneration, okay? They call it reincarnation. But your spirit comes back on the earth multiple times. And we are coming straight back into that perverse spirit that the Lord had to destroy with, with the flood, right? And, and, and to this day, that, that was like, what, 7,000 years ago? You know what I'm saying? That was about 7,000 years ago. You know what I'm saying? We circle right back to that time, and this is the end, okay? But this one's coming with fire. You see, let me get this in the book of Genesis, chapter 6 and 5. And God saw the wickedness of the man, of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. And it repented the Lord that he made man on the earth and it grieved him at his heart. You see? Yeah. So the thought of man to this day is 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 only evil. And this is talk about the time of Noah. You see? Imagine how much more it is now when this is even ten times, hundred times more wicked, man. Alright? Than it than it had used to be. Right. You see? Because uh, our, peop our people are far gone, man. You know what I'm saying? With this way Esau runs this earth, man, our people are, are far gone from, from what we used to be. You know what I'm saying? Our people used to be a, a decent people. You know, the wickedness back then was nowhere near the wickedness now. You know what I'm saying? So, like it says, man, people people nowadays are, are selfish. Like, what's it say in the book of 1 Timothy? Or Second Timothy is it? People shall uh, lovers of themselves, things like that. Oh yeah, yeah. Third, third chapter. I just wanted to say something as well. Uh, what you were saying, uh, even back in the time of Noah. Uh, now I forget the exact uh, exact uh, verse, but I'm gonna sort of paraphrase. It's in the apocalypse. You know, the earth. The earth is like a, a woman. You know, when she's giving birth to these different generations and. When a woman is in her youth, she gives birth to, she, she's in her prime, she'll be able to give birth to stronger, stronger, uh, you know, children, you know, stronger young. But when she's older, which the, the, the earth right now is in her, she's old, you know, the earth is old. She's giving birth to, to you know, weaker, she's, she's giving birth to like weaker children, you know. So in this generation, we're in like the last generation, so we're like that weaker generation to where it's more wicked, you know? So even in the back time back in Noah, of Noah, that nation in the sight of the Lord was, you know, that generation in the sight of the Lord was wicked, you know? So this nation, like the brother was going to, is horrible, you know? This is just like a, a sight, a sore, you know, to the eye, to the heart. Mm -hmm. Come on. Let me get this to 2 Timothy 3 and 1. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, 
unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontent, furious, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof from such turn away. All right? So in the last days, Paul was given, uh, uh, you know, a description of many people on this earth, you see? And that's how it is to this day. You know, people have, people are just fucked up, you know? Like, people are just messed up in the mind, really. You know? People are impatient. They don't, they don't even, people aren't even human no more, man. You know what I'm saying? People act like animals nowadays. Uh, if you look back into the scriptures, our people were known for being a very hospi hospitable people. We are very good natured uh, people, you know, especially Israelites. You know what I'm saying? We, 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 we used to have it to the point to where you would let strangers lodge in your house, you know? You, you didn't even know this person from nowhere, but they would stop by and then you would let them lodge in your house. You know what I'm saying? You feed them, you know, give, give them clothes, you know what I'm saying? Send them on their way the next day or whatnot. All right, there's many accounts of how our people were a good people, you know what I'm saying? Back then, we didn't need locks on our doors and shit, man, you know what I'm saying? We didn't need to, you know, obviously people stole and shit back then, but it was not on the level it is now, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, we're far gone from what we used to be, you know what I'm saying? We used to be a very good-hearted people, man, all right? Read the book of uh, Genesis where... Abraham sent his servant to go to go get Isaac, his son, uh, a wife. And he came across Rebecca, you know. And Rebecca, you can see how good natured their people were back then. She she basically told him, "Hey, I'm I'm a, I'm gonna get you water. I'm gonna get your camels water as well, you know." And this man said, asked if he had he can have a place to lodge. She was like, "Yeah, we got we got enough straw for your for your camels." We got, we got a back, you know, we got somewhere where you can stay, this, that, and the third, you know? Nowadays, that is unheard of, you know what I'm saying? It's sad, you know? Right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to read this, though, in 2nd uh, Edgar chapter 5 and 46, because I want to read the scripture I was paraphrasing earlier. So here it says, and it, it also go along with what you were saying. It says, and he said, uh, let me start at 45. And I said, as thou hast said unto thy servant, that thou which giveth life to all, hath given life at once to the creature that thou hast created, and the creature buried, even so it might also bear them that now be present at once. So this is Edris, and I believe he's speaking to an angel. It goes on to say, and he said unto me, Ask the womb of a woman, and say unto her, If thou bringeth forth children, why dost thou it not together, but one after another? Pray her therefore to bring forth ten children at once. And I said, She cannot, but must do it by a distance of time. Then said he unto me, Even so, I have given the womb of the earth to those that be sown in it in their times. For as a young child may uh, may not bring forth the things that belong to the age, even so I have disposed the world which I created. And I asked and said, seeing that thou hast thou hast now given me the way I proceed to speak before thee, for our mother of whom thou hast told me that she is young draweth now nigh unto age. He answered me and said, Ask a woman that bear children, and she shall tell thee. Say unto her, Wherefore are thou are not they whom thou hast now brought forth like those that were before, but less of stature? And she answered thee, They that be born in strength of youth are of one fashion, and they that are born in the time of age, when a woman felleth, when a womb felleth or otherwise so Slakia I just rambled on there but uh pretty much you know the, the earth is like a woman and she's bringing forth children in her in her youth she's gonna bring forth children that are stronger you know but when she's 
older, a woman and, and her and her uh, elder, when well, she's elder, she's gonna bring forth children that are, you know, more, more weaker, you know. So even time past, like the brother was going into, even in time past, you know, when we used to be people of, we used to be a people of of, of care, you know, of compassion, you know, we used to be a people of of higher. You know, we used to have integrity and dignity. We, have, we used to have all these good characteristics and traits right. that we don't have now. That's also like a, you know, we, we become weaker, you know, in smaller stature. You know, we become less than we were. You know, we're sort of like a, a cup half full, you know, right. or half empty either way. We're half, Sorry. we're lower, you know. So at this point in time, we're just lower even if you want to say we're more prone to demons or more prone to wickedness and so in this last generation you know even 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 like the elector had you know we may have all not we but the elect even they will have a hard time you know in this time or so how much more just the random people or you know people normal people of the earth who just uh, are gonna have a hard time you know just a bunch of demons just going around in, in America and, and people just Demons all over the place. You know, mm -hmm. demons, demons, demons. Everyone's prone, and everyone's being sucked up into this portal of wickedness that's gonna have to be destroyed with uh, with massive nuclear destruction. Come on, come on. I got wisdom of Solomon, chapter one, verses three. It says, "For forward thoughts separate from God, and His power, when it is tried, proveth the unwise." For into a malicious soul, wisdom shall not enter, nor dwell in a body that is subject unto sin. So, you know, like we said, man, even even today, you know, saying you got regular people, mm. they struggle with wickedness is because they don't have the spirit of wisdom, man. They don't have the Holy Spirit on them. Because when the Holy Spirit comes into you, it makes you undefiled. You know what I'm saying? Right. The Holy Spirit makes you of another sort it, it puts you on a higher consciousness more like a god type level you know like like it says cleansliness cleanliness is like unto godliness or really even that can apply to your spirit you just have a clean spirit about you a sincere spirit that's hard to find man you know it's really hard to find a sincere person nowadays you know people are just not too sincere they don't got integrity you know they don't have character you know what I'm saying? Like, they're just not good people now. People nowadays, they'll scam you. You know what I'm saying? They'll sit there and they'll scam you right in front of your face, you know? Right. People have no fear of the Most High. They don't fear... No um, shame. They have no shame. They don't think they're going to reap what they sow. They'll, they'll lie to you. They'll steal from you. They'll scam from you. They'll... You know what I'm saying? People just don't think nobody's watching them, mm -hmm. you know? I can tell it's in the book of Sirach 23... Such a man only feareth the eyes of men, not knowing that the eyes of the Lord are ten thousand times brighter than the sun. I behold in all the ways of men and considering the most secret parts. Paraphrasing. People just don't have that fear. People don't have that belief, you know? And that's one thing that the elect are going to have is going to be that sincere spirit. The Most High is going to make you tap back into the old ways, you know? Like the Lord says, seek the old ways. Where is the good path? And walk therein. You know, a lot of people nowadays they don't understand. They don't understand that they're filled with some type of demon that they're dealing with. That's why they can't be a good person. You know what I'm saying? That's why they can't be a sincere dude. They can't be a sincere woman. Uh, it's because they they're cle they got demons that are stuck to them. All right. But the elect, hey man, this this elect, this, this world is not made for the righteous. You see. The elect sigh and cry for the abominations that be done in the midst of the world, you know? And that's why the Lord gave us the scriptures, which is the comforter. You know, because sometimes you get really vexed with the people of this earth, man. Sometimes you get real vexed having to behold wickedness, all right? You get real vexed sometimes, and you just have to deal with it, you know? A lot of people, they try to cope with the, with the, uh, with the everyday struggles that they go through. They try to cope the way of alcohol, you know, drugs, you know, excess of something, you know, eating comfort foods, you know, because this life, pe people get stressed out, you know, 
and they they turn to all these different mechanisms to, to try to let them uh, to try to mellow them out or chill them out but these things are, are doing nothing but making them want more of that you know what I'm saying want more of that in excess but they don't really turn to what they really need which is the scriptures right the comforter but the elect hey you gotta turn to these words man right, whenever you are getting stressed out you know what I'm saying whenever you're getting you know vexed in the spirit you have to turn to these scriptures you gotta turn to the comforter you see that that's uh you know what I'm saying that's that's why the Lord said that he's gonna send the comforter to us in these last days you know can you appreciate it? yeah uh let me go ahead and go to Jeremiah Jeremiah chapter uh 30 and 6 uh let me go ahead and go to 7 it says, and this is a step, taking a step back to a, the base of lesson. Horrible is the end of the righteous generation. This is, says, alas, for that day is great, so none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. So, again, it says, alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of the Jacob's trouble. So there's again, there's not gonna be a time that's gonna be like the vengeance of the Lord. Mm -hmm. So when tribulation stuff happens, also really known as Jacob's trouble, when things really kick off, that's gonna be time of Jacob's trouble. But not only Jacob, really the whole earth is gonna be clashing. You know, that's when war is gonna be happening. That's when things are really gonna be out there. You know, spirits, the four wind, the, the spirits are gonna be out there. You know death spirits of death you know like the, the death spirit that came over egypt that that spirit's gonna be out here so it's gonna be a day alas for that day is great so none is like it you know but then it said jacob will be saved out of it and that's really talking about the elect because like we went like we talked about well yahweh shot he said and read that uh if it if if the days weren't shortened then you know, they let there would be no flesh that be saved out. But ultimately, some of the elect will say, uh, be making it out. You know, so well, we hope that we're a part of that. But in the end, there's going to be massive death. You know, there, there will be massive death. You know, it will be horrible of this unrighteous generation. Um, you know, so that's all I have. Man. And I got this one last piece of to back off of what I was saying. Actually, in the book of Psalms 12 and 1. It says, help, Lord, for the godly man ceaseth from the faithful. Uh, it's like here. Help, Lord, for the godly man ceaseth, for the faithful fell from among the children of men. They speak vanity, everyone with his neighbor, with flattering lips and with a double tongue heart do they speak. All right. Yeah, and it kind of just goes off to, uh, you know, how, how we saying, you know, the whole whole vibration of the earth is, is really messed up you know jake jake got uh a lot of demons on them you know what i'm saying jake is worried about how, to, how he can become you know the ultimate nigga you know he's not worried about how he can be a sincere brother you know what i'm saying a, a sincere sister you know being an israelite they're not worried about they're not worried about that man they're worried about being a nigga basically david was saying man look you know the the righteous, the godly. The you know it's hard to find. You know a godly man, a godly woman in this earth. You know they fell from among the children of men, and that's why we said for end for horribles the end of this unrighteous generation. You know says the Lord, uh, as in the days of Noah, when the flood came and it took them all away. You know, <laughs> it said it took them all away and they knew not. You know, so. Uh, <laughs> It's been a, you know, Lord, Lord's been to catch these people off guard with, uh, with the judgment of fire. You know what I'm saying? That that judgment of fire that's coming, they they gonna know not. You know what I'm saying? And the elect, they're gonna get beamed up. You, uh, you got anything? Uh, nah. Yeah, Con. So we're not gonna make this video uh, too long. So we're just gonna go to end it off right now. Give all praises to the Most High and to the Son. Y'all bashing y'all with shy, bashing with Kakodash. I'll ride till the next time we see you want.